It's a wonderful and blessed morning and we thank God Almighty for being alive today to see another new day. And we also thank God Almighty for yesterday. Our yesterday's games were superb, were beautiful and amazing. So I really, really thank God yesterday. The games were good, perfect. So before I talk about how yesterday's games went, I really appreciate some few people who showed me appreciation yesterday They're on the screen. Should I just say two of them? The, somebody super thanks me with um, five pounds, the other one with $39. I really appreciate, to be honest, I really, really appreciate you guys so, so much. Thank you. Nothing is too small. We won yesterday. If you want to say, JB, take this token, I really appreciate your work. The super thanks button is there. $2, $3, $5. As you are led, anything that is led in your heart to support the channel with is fine. I will appreciate it. $2, $5, $10. The super thanks button is after the like button. You will see it. Super thanks. Any amount is not small. Any amount is not big. Anything you want to show to me, you want to share to me, I am receiving it with my open heart and i really appreciate you guys the person who sent me 39 dollars and the one who sent me five dollars sorry five pounds i really appreciate you guys so so much and it really go a long way and i really say thank you and i'll keep on doing my best for you guys in the channel so what happened yesterday let's talk about what happened yesterday the games I provided, I gave you two slips. The first match having two matches and the slip two having just one match of two odds. What was the first match? Denmark versus Kazakhstan. I gave Denmark to score over 1.5. And if you listen to my analysis perfectly, if you listen to it patiently, you would know that what I said yesterday happened. I said Denmark has a very good chance of scoring more than two goals, if not highest two goals. And Kazakhstan will be able to record at least one goal. And most of you grabbed that word and used it. Both teams to score for Denmark and Kazakhstan was almost four odd. Beautiful. And Kazakhstan scored one. Denmark scored three. And I told you that the game has a very good chance of ending in a correct score of 3-1. And it was successful. So a lot of you used that match to your advantage. Some went for both teams to score. Some went for over 3.5. Some went for Denmark to win an over 2.8. A lot of options. Why? The analysis that was attached to it. One thing about analysis is once you have listened to analysis, it gives you confidence or makes you know what you are doing. That is just the truth. The second game was Slovenia and Finland. This one, everything was just happening in the first half perfectly. We predicted over 1.5 goals. Boom. In the first half, Slovenia 2-0 and the odds from 1.45 it increased to 1.60 before the game started and first half Slovenia has scored two goals and I also mentioned that Benjamin Sesko is going to score because the guy has been in very good form and he scored two goals yesterday so that was for the Slovenia's game it was successful that was for our sleep one sleep two we had just one match between Hungary and Serbia we had both teams to score and in the first half, the both teams scored. And I told you that Sabia will not be winning to um, yesterday. They will not be winning. I gave you my reasons that I don't know why Sabia has good players but find it hard to win games. And it happened yesterday. And I gave you a correct score that Hungary will either play 1-1 or at full time, they will play 2-1. And the guy that sent me the $39 super tanks staked on the correct score 2-1. But it was in the first half. He never knew that he mistakenly touched first half correct score 2-1. He was surprised why the odds were very big. But he thought that it was a full-time 2-1 correct score odd. When the game started, he went to find out that the 2-1 correct score was for first half. And they already started the game. So he let it slide. He stake only $5. $5, yes. And he won almost $200 in profit. $5 stake. It was the first half. He said he has given up that he thought it was full time, not knowing it was the first half. Just for him to just close his eyes and open it, Hungry 1 2 1 first half. Very big odd because he said he listened to what I said that they are going to play 2 1 
and he staked on the correct score two one just for five dollars and he won two hundred dollars two hundred dollars plus so he shared with me his profit 39 i really appreciate that movement that's a big movement so that is for yesterday and that was what happened yesterday the games were so perfect and everything happened in the first half that was the most sweetest part the odds were very big and everything happened in the first half we did not struggle we were not um, panicking that the goals are not coming god did it for us easily and it happened in the first half so that was what happened yesterday it's good to listen to analysis it will help you i know it takes time to listen to it but you will be in the receiving end at the end of the day so that was what happened yesterday i even shared a high stakes slip on telegram 1.50 odd it was also successful so that is by the way today is another new day if you are new to this channel if it's the first time you are walking by this channel the subscribe button is looking at you there ensure you are hitting the subscribe button and turn on your bell notification it's very very important most especially let's like this video let's take this video to 3k likes today that is all i need 3k likes for more beautiful games with big odds if you look at it the past days the odds i've been providing are good they are big and it's good so let's dive straight to today's business i've said it before if you want to show me support super thanks is there for the growth of the channel any amount is not big any amount is not small two dollar three dollar any amount i will really really appreciate it our first game, I have two sleeps for today, plus an extra sleep if you want to make extra cash. It's three, but my main predictions are the sleep one and sleep two, but the sleep three is also good. So let's dive straight to it. Our sleep one, we have Noe versus Spain. Sleep one just has two matches. We have Noe versus Spain. Now, if you look at the table, we have Group A. Scotland is first, Spain second, Noe third, Georgia fourth, Cyprus fifth. I'll be very fast. Scotland, in which his first has 15 points, giving opportunity to Spain and Norway. Now, Spain and Norway are facing themselves. Spain has scored 18 goals and considered just 3. Norway has scored 11 goals, considered 8. What will you note here? These two teams are good in uh, goal scoring. The two teams are good in goal scoring, but one concedes less, in which is Spain. But the funny part about this Norway is, we all know the attacker that is in Norway and the attacking midfielder that is in Norway, in which is Odegaard and Erling Haaland. We have Sorlot, we have the rest of them. Norway are good. They are a good goal scoring side. Spain are perfect in goal scoring. They have scored the highest goals so far in this tournament and I believe they want to maintain it that way. And the window is open for anybody to qualify in this group between Norway, Spain and Scotland. They are going to play 8 match in total. Spain has played five, Norway has played six, Scotland has also played six. So it's an opportunity for anybody to take it. And Norway are at home, so they have the opportunity and advantage to score at least one goal in this game today. While Spain, on the other hand, have top quality players and will use the opportunity to score as much as they can. And anybody that wins this game today is giving itself more big chance to qualify from this group. Because this group is a very tight group. So my prediction for this game is over 1.5 goals at 1.31 odd. Over 1.5 goals at 1.31 odd. This game has a very high chance of the two teams scoring themselves and ending in two or three goals. The amount of goals will be either two or three. So I believe the two teams have a very good chance of scoring themselves with the like of Haaland, Murata and the rest of them. So over 1.5 goals is my prediction. The second game for Sleep 1, we have a match between Wales and Croatia. And looking at the table in Group D, we have Turkey first, Croatia second, Armenia third, Wales fourth, Latvia fifth. Turkey have 13 points, Croatia have 10 points, Armenia 7, Wales 7. Another very, very tight group. And I told before, once a group is tight, expect goals. That is just the truth. So we have Croatia second with 10 points, Wales with 7 points. And this... Uh, match is going to be very very determining understand in the qualification process so anybody winning this game is giving itself a very huge boost to qualify and Croatia surprisingly lost to Turkey in which I was surprised and what killed Croatia was not being able to convert their chances while Turkey used the one they scored and held on that 1-0 played defensively till the game ended 
Wales, on the other hand, has good players that are scoring with the likes of players from Ipswich, uh, Swansea. These guys are good in goal scoring. Croatia, on the other hand, has top quality players. So I expect goals again in this game. The goals are not going to be much. But I will not make that mistake I made between Belgium and Austria. Then under 3.5, over 1.5 goals is my option for this game today at 1.43 odd. This game has a very good chance of ending in a draw. One to Wales, one to Croatia. Or Croatia winning 2-1. That is just it. But I believe this game has the ability of recording two goals because of the qualification spot is open for anybody. And before you qualify, you need to score and you need to win games. So it's open for anybody. My prediction is over 1.5 at 1.43 odd. The first one is Noe versus Spain over 1.5 goals at 1.31 odd. So that is sleep one for us. The booking codes are on your screen. Now heading to sleep two, we have Turkey versus Latvia. And I've said it before, Turkey are first. And Turkey want to use this opportunity to beat Latvia to be able to stay in that first position. Turkey has starting point. Turkey has scored nine goals, conceding six. Automatically, Turkey are very good in goal scoring and they also concede. But I don't see Turkey conceding more than highest one goal in this game. But Turkey should be able to win this match without stress. Either Turkey winning this game 2-0 or Turkey winning this game 3-0, because this is a very big opportunity to stay in the first position. So my prediction for this game is home team to score over 1.5 goals at 1.22 odd. Turkey should score over 1.5 goals at 1.22 odd. The second game for Sleep 2, in which is the last game for Sleep 2, we have from Group E, we have Albania, Poland, Czech Republic, Moldova, and Faroes Island. And the match here is Czech Republic versus Faroes Island. Czech Republic suffered a heavy loss against Albania due to red card and lack of converting chances. And Czech Republic will want to use the opportunity to come back to fight for qualification against Faroes Island. You understand? And Poland is playing Moldova today. Don't be deceived by Poland and Moldova. Or they are giving Moldova 30 odd or 20 odd. Don't be deceived. Those guys are stubborn. Those guys are very stubborn. So I know Poland will want to win that game, but don't look down on Moldova. That is just the truth. But for the Czech Republic versus Faroes Island, Czech Republic will want to use this game to come back, to score a lot of goals, to return back to the qualification spot because they need to minus all those goals they conceded. So I believe using Faroes Island is the best option they can. So my prediction for this game is both teams to score, no, at 1.40 odd. Czech Republic is going to be winning this game either 2-0 or 3-0. I'm sure 3-0 should be the perfect score for this game because... Czech Republic we want to not concede because they've conceded enough. Czech Republic has conceded enough. So Czech Republic should be winning this game 2-0, 3-0 or even 4 because they want to score more in this match today. So that is for my sleep too. Turkey to score two goals. Czech Republic versus Faroes Island. Both teams to score. No. The booking code for sleep 2 are on your screen. I've shared the booking code for sleep 1. Now for the extra sleep, if you are interested in it, if you are not interested in it, you can leave it. Just for extra cash, you can use a small amount on it. We have the first match for the extra sleep. It's two odds, just two matches. Czech Republic versus Faroes Island over 2.5 goals at 1.40 odd. Norway versus Spain, both teams to score at 1.82. And if you listen to this extra sleep, it's just based on what I've explained and I gave you the reasons why Czech Republic will have more than two goals in their game and why Norway and Spain is going to score themselves. So both teams to score at 1.82 for Spain and Norway over 2.5 at 1.40 for Czech Republic and Faroes Island. So guys, that is all the three sleeps for today. The sleep one and sleep two are our main predictions for today. Sleep three is just for extra cash if you want. So guys, that is all for today and I will see you tomorrow with more well analyzed tips. Don't forget to listen to my analysis and understand how, what you can make out of these games today. So take good care of yourself and we pray God helping us for success. If you want to join my telegram, the link is pinned in the comment section. So check it out now. So guys, that is all for today. That is all for today and I pray for success and I will see you tomorrow with more well analyzed tips. Take good care of yourself and bye for now.